Brett tells me about this property, and I thought, well, I'll go down with you. Brett's a nice guy. I'm a nice guy. Oh, man. Tell you, if you want to live nowhere, we all remember where we were on 9-11. And I looked at my wife, and I said, thank God we live nowhere. Well, guess what? Here you are. And there you have it. We are nowhere. You are in BFE, Kentucky. That means big farms everywhere. You're south of Salyersville. You got to look on the map. But it's 420 acres. The best acres you've had. 420, get it? Today we got a guest host, Brett Franklin. I don't know where I picked this guy up. He's got this crazy farm to show you. It's the 420 farm, 420 acres. Dude, that's a story, right? And we got a down tree. So you call him up and you say, Brett, Brad said, Brad said that uh, you need to buy them a chainsaw. Whoever buys the farm through us uh, gets a new Husqvarna chainsaw. There's a link. It's one of our favorites. There's a link in the description below. And uh, that's the saw. It's not a little homeowner saw. It's a farmer saw. You got a farm. You need a farm saw. You got to get this pine tree. Actually, three out of here. Yeah. It's on the power line. You see the power lines behind my head? The power company will come and get it off of the lines. And then, of course, they're going to leave it right there. But that's okay because you're going to burn it in the fireplace or have a bonfire and uh, have some wine with your honey and all that other stuff. But you, you do the, have to buy the farm. But you got to buy the farm. You got to buy a farm from him. Yeah. And we're not just giving away chainsaws. You're not giving away chainsaws to everybody? You're just, so weak. You're weak, you know. Have a bonfire and some wine with your honey. He's not my honey. I have another <laughs> honey. You remember Cindy, but uh, he is a hell of a nice guy. Heck of a nice guy. I can't say how. That's right. Yeah, you can't yeah. say that. Yeah. You're going to love this place. Stay tuned. Don't touch that dial because I said so.
place here, good lord, if you want to be nowhere, this is the place. Holy moly. It's a 420 farm. How far up before we turn, Jane? There's a walking trail right there. I don't know how far it goes, but it looks like it goes for quite a ways. About five miles. Five miles. Well, that's that's farther than I want to walk. That would be fun. Yeah. Seeing me on a bicycle, that'd be good. <laughs> be like a walrus riding a golf cart. How long has this place been in your family?
little cell service, Brett, we could hit hunt wise and see where the boundaries are. Yeah. Even if we're close. You got service. What do you got, Verizon or? Yeah. Verizon seems to be everywhere that AT and T isn't. You got service there, big man. Uh, maybe just enough. No. Say, so can I see your phone, Mike? I came up here because I figured Brett would know where he was going, so I let him drive. And he was relying on the seller to find out where the farm is. Nope. Please stand by. We're experiencing technical difficulties. Can you see your place from there? Nope. Mm. So far, that's a whole lot of nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's always an adventure. Yeah. <laughs> right? Where are you all from? Michigan. Michigan. <laughs> They're, they're probably singing that song, Oh, how I wish again, I were in Michigan, right now. <laughs> oh, I only drove four hours for this. It's fine. I'm good. I'm good. I get to hang with Brett. When he's, you know, when you're a champion, you're a champion, so I'm good. He's buying me a beer tonight, I can tell you that. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, I owe Brad on this one. We're going to find it. Tenacity always wins. That's going to be on my tombstone. Okay. We'll find it. Just hang on. exists between the chair and the keyboard.
showing you what I got to endure here. Can you believe this kind of job? I got I got to do this. Like, are you serious? I could be home sitting on the couch playing with the internet. This still ain't it. We're about 40 minutes into this odyssey. Uh-oh. You gonna do it? Come on, Brett, go for it. Don't be a sissy. Woo! There you go. Tell you one thing, I'm never gonna let this guy borrow my truck again. <laughs> now you're seeing how what happens out there. Yeah, yep, that was the last time. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> <laughs> lunch today. I'd be missing more than that. <laughs> yeah. We got fuel in this thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'd run right over this spice bush. Really? Yeah, I would. It's either that or back up all the way. <laughs> just, back, just back on up and, and just run over this sucker. Hold on a second. Hold on, Brett. Yeah. I'm going to get out and video on the other side. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh my God. That backseat's shrinking. Oh, just, just hit it even. Good and even. Oh my God, this might be the last we see of Brett. Put it in grandma and just keep on a coming. Butter. And it's back up. <laughs> What'd you flatlanders get out of the car for? You do! Yes, sir! <laughs> Live or die choice? Oh, heck. There ain't nothing yet. Have fun. Road goes to the left. That's pretty. Yeah. That's probably good advice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just come on down here, and then the road goes to the left. Good lord. Now, hold on a second. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on. I got to see the bottom. Well, sure is pretty, but what the hell? They got me running everywhere. Is this your place? No, I don't think so. Is this your place? No, I don't think so. Well, do you know where your place is? Yeah, I'll let you know when we find it. <laughs> Crazy people. We used to call these peepers. 
my people call them tree frogs. And I am so glad I came down here because that is the end of the deal. Why? Because of the beavers. Ah! Beavers. Yep. Nope. That looks like a whole lot of nope. Alrighty, here we go. You see Brett way up there? I hope I can make it up the hill. Too much fried chicken. No bueno, senor. That's a beaver dam. There's no more road. All right, here we go. No, the beavers, that's all beaver dam there. And they flooded the road. My, my daddy always taught me that beavers would get you in trouble. I guess that's what he's talking about. <laughs> no, sir. That water's five foot deep. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the beavers, that's it. <laughs> they got must have two dams they got yeah. this first one which you can see and then the other one the road is just completely completely covered and you can't see the other side okay well uh so our only option is to go back the way we came yeah can you get a drone out that far away from you oh yeah if i can see it i'm in good shape if I can't see it, then I'll have to punt. But we should be able to get stuff up. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to go on my own. Through here? Yeah. No, sir. No, the water's just deep. <laughs> I can go on the hillside. I can go through that. I go through that all the time. Oh, you mean on foot? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. okay, okay. I thought you were saying with the machine. I'm like, no. oh, my gosh. <laughs> no. If okay. I, if I go, you take these guys back. Okay and uh head all the way back to the mobile home okay and then uh how far can he come down that road it's not too far to that tree but my wife says that thing may go over that tree. how big is the tree she didn't say it must be able to like that or something well we may be able to yeah, you know, I don't know. Probably should have went up and looked at it, yeah. seeing if it's something to drag out, drag out of the way. Mm. Can you get up to a plateau from that road? Yes. Yeah. You can get up to his, up to where his house was. Okay. And then should be able to get on beyond that as well. And that would end up back here. Okay. On the other side. From the other side. Yeah. But this isn't part of you yet. Well, this is a, it oh, this be, is it yours. It would be me right starting at the bottom of the okay. hill here. All right. Going which way? Your property goes that, way. goes that way. And then it kind of wraps around these mountains. But I thought here. your land backed up in a canyon. Your your property line goes up to the top of well, a ridge. Well, if you get if you get down here, it will. It'll back up to that ridge over there. But but something headed south. South is kind of that way. So, yeah. Yeah. So this lane used to go all the way out to the hit straight yeah. out. Yeah. But, but your property's not going back this way. Not that, that you I, know of. Not that I can remember. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. We're yeah. back through there, you think, Yeah. It's, uh, it's going to be on both sides. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about using the drone from here, Brad? Going. You might be to able to north. see that trail from here. If you could get up, you might be able to see where it goes down through there. Well. Get a little drone time, and then you guys head back, and I'll meet you back at the mobile home. Where is the mobile home? Where, where my truck started from. Yeah, I understand, oh. but like from here, like. You go down there and turn left, and you just kind of. And you can it. see it. Should I be able to see it from the air or no? Well, it's probably a good uh, half mile away. Half mile. Yeah, at this point, I'd say it's more than that. Yeah, it's, it's, a, you may it's be three right. quarters yeah. to. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Almost a mile because yeah. we're at the very back of the yeah. property and it's all north and south. Well, I'm not allowed to fly what I can't see. I need line of sight. 
I'd rather get there and go up alongside the mobile home and go up the trail. Okay. And that I'd rather right. do. Then that way I know that if I just circle around me, I know what we're looking at. But from here, it's really a crapshoot. Can you get back out of here? If if we got, I don't, I don't know if he's a good navigator. I, I know how to do Every it. time I looked over at him, he was going like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that was the look right there, right there. <laughs> I'm just busting your chops. Yeah, I, I think it if may, we just may, keep making right, may, may make more sense for me to just because I drove in. Yeah, for all four of us to go out. I think and so. Then, I can well, hike in from that side over there. Within a distance, I could even get my truck up there and pull that branch out of the way. Okay. You know, so we yeah. get, now that doesn't yeah. mean there's not going to be another one 20 feet up If there. you can pull a branch uh, with a Ford truck out of the way, uh, that'll go over top of it. Now, if you'd said like a Chevy or a no, I'm well, mine, mine is a Chevy. <laughs> oh, okay. His, his is a Ford. Oh, I was just trying to bust somebody's chops. <laughs> Well, that's why I didn't say we'll get great structure. <laughs> you were one step ahead of me, weren't you? Okay, so I'm thinking back up and turn right up in there. Yeah, I would turn right around here. Yeah. Then just go right over that spice right over bush that again. Tree. Tell you what I'm going to do. Yeah, it's used to us by now. Oh, yeah, that tree will just bow down for us.
that VCT or VST, just like your Subaru. Variable speed transmission or whatever they call it. Somewhat. Somewhat electrified. That's right. Where are we here? Where is that? All right, let's do it. Okay. Brett, I think you should give a free chainsaw. Yeah, with, absolutely. With the purchase of this farm. Oh, boy, that's, that's a great idea. Yep, because you're going to get a couple chuckleheads from, like, Michigan or someplace like that yeah, yeah. come here, and they're not going to know what to do with this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ooh. wow, watch yourself. Gosh, that's something else. This is a heck of a road. I mean, it's a real road. It yeah. used to be a county road. County road. Very good shape. Aside from occasional ice storm. Well, we had quite a few problems with the ice storm, too. Look at that buck rub right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That power goes right up center of that road, doesn't it? Yep. We got 
got dates and names and stuff. How long have you all had this place? I, I bought it from my grandmother. Right, yeah. In the lower part. Uh, back in the early 90s, I bought it from her. And then uh, when my dad died, I got the other part of her. Wow. Barb and I. Wow. But it's it's eight hour, almost eight hour drive for us to come down here. Yeah. And it, uh, it's just hard to do it. Have you ever timbered this? Really? Yes. Yeah. Uh, back before they they stripped the coal out, they they did log it. How much timber do you think there was at that time? I don't have any well, idea. My dad, uh, my dad got all that. On that, but you're saying you own into this next holler, and yes. this, yes. that would be this part up here. Mm -hmm. And I've got a deed for that that holler that I bought. Where are we standing? Well, I, I believe we're right here. Okay. If I can have you, there you go. Perfect. Okay. All right. And then you've got, you said there's two parcels or? Well, uh, Mike owns one and okay. Greg owns the other. Okay. And so we're going to sell them both together. together. Yeah. Both together are 420. That's right. There you go. So this is, this one here is the first section that I own personally. Right. And then that one over there is the second one. And then that one up there is the third. Okay. And the third is? Half of Mike's. Straight on. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then Mike's is in the back. Yep. Okay, Mike's is in the back. Further, it's right. further south. All right. Yeah. Well, you can explain it better when people are out here. It would make more sense Yeah. when sure. you can see it on the yeah. map. But that's interesting. Right over there. Do what? That barn used to stand right over there. Greg had a house and a barn up Nice. Power's right there. Yep. So that's good. There's power, this creek down here. Yep. I'm gonna put a little video here of the creek. Water and septic where? Right over by the pole. Oh, where that pole is where right there? The house, yeah. Okay. So there's a flat spot and a septic yeah. and a and a and a well or water? Water, city water. City water out city from the road. From the road yeah. Okay. Awesome. And there's a well here too. And I don't know if it would even be any good. It's here somewhere you see the pipe sticking up out of the ground. Okay. You'll find it when you bush hog. Yeah, we always had to watch, tell the kids don't find it with your four wheel. That's right. <laughs> I'm walking through all these thorns, all this bramble, because I hear something. And I thought, well, maybe this is worth coming to look at, show you guys. I just hope I don't fall and break my dupa. If you're Polish, you know what that means. Whoa. That means the part that goes over the fence last. On a turkey, we call that the Pope's nose. He said the kids used to come down here when they were little and just play for hours and hours. There's nothing more entertaining to a kid than a creek. You get little salamanders and frogs and everything. I risk limb and life for Brett. And you think he's even going to buy me lunch? I bet you not. Plus he gives directions like a girl. Not that I'm bitter. Oh shoot, is this thing on? Well, here I am, spitting cotton. I'm so thirsty. 
I've been walking. We went walked back probably, he said half a mile, but it was more than that. And then I forgot something, so I had to come back, and then I go back, and then I have to come back. I thought about staying there, but I figured, here, I got this AT&T phone. No AT&T service out here, so don't even bring it. Your Verizon, yes, the guy's got Verizon. It's fantastic. We got a down uh, wire here. Three down trees are on this wire, and I mean, it's like, I'll show you this. It's a public service announcement here, PSA. Here I am, five something, and that tree is down way below my fly back there. <laughs> so there they are, and they say don't even get close to them. So we think it's off, but I'm not gonna take any chances. Brett left me, he's out in the woods, he's playing Davy Crockett or Daniel Boone or whoever, whatever. He's got me out here, I got no lunch, I've got no water, no Merlot. I mean, come on now. No, seriously, I'm, I'm a little tougher than that. But there was some kind of a furry scurry thing in the woods over there, and, and it was really big. I mean, really big, like, like the size of a grizzly bear maybe. Scared me a little bit. I didn't know what it was gonna do. And then I thought, well, don't be ridiculous, Brad. It's probably your animal spirit guardian angel or something. And then I thought, that thing was big. Like one of them big squirrels, he'd look at me and say, that's breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and leftovers. I wasn't taking any chances, I'm just saying. I hear that grizzly bear coming now. There he is. Oh, it's Brett. Well, that county bus system is not worth a darn. No. No, the no, public transportation is just... I was standing back there waiting for the bus to show up. It just didn't come. Well, I was just talking about the 420 farm here. I said, if they ever make it legal, this is the place to grow it. <laughs> a lot of flat space back there. Bunch. Yeah. Did you see all that? Yeah, all yeah. the way back to the yeah. beaver dam. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot like of a flat land. It's like a double beaver dam. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It is actually. So you got like a kind of like a pond and then and then the, the beaver dam goes like Hoover Dam. Yeah. Right. But so you thought the engineers were smart to do Hoover Dam. Exactly, right. They got it from All the beavers. Do is hang out with the beavers and the squirrels and they're like, oh okay, that's how you do it. Yep. There's an old homestead back there. Really? Yeah. Foundation. Of ruins. Yep. Mm. Be interesting. Really, to really know. hidden, but uh yeah, that's yeah, there's lots of places to put a house. The uh, Forest Service Road, at least on this hill, there's a couple of them. It's not Forest Service, Timber Road. Really wide, great shape, um, easy to put back into working order. And because of the way it's created, lots of places to put a, a cabin all along that hillside going way back in there. You know, for 20-year-old timber roads, they're in excellent shape. So you don't have a lot of big trees that you've got to take out. Hilltops, beautiful. Tons of a surprising number of hemlock trees, big, mature hemlock trees. Creek is beautiful, little waterfall. Creek, the creek is uh, super pretty back there. It goes, and then it breaks off into two. So uh, a lot of open, a lot of flat space that it'd take a skid steer to, to clear it, but it wouldn't take you long. And, well, if the ruins, if they were able to get back there 100, 200 years ago, you can certainly get back there today yeah. with a four-wheel drive vehicle. Yeah, and the road is really good on the western side of the creek. And then on the eastern side of the creek, you got two timber roads that could be repurposed. So however you want to get back there, it's all it's all up to the new owner. There's, there's options. Well, and, uh, it's the privacy, I think, that's really going to...
yeah. appeal to a lot of people. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. But accessible. Mm -hmm. You got this county road. Like yeah, this county road here. Water. Yeah, power. Yep. yep. And city water. And city water. Goes back. Yeah. But it's like being, you know, deep, deep, deep in Daniel Boone National Forest someplace. Is that where, where we are right here? Are no. we in, within? No, no. no, really. No, but it feels like it. It does. Well, it sure is pretty getting out here. Yeah. And, and I mean, this entrance coming into it is gorgeous. And that's, that's half the deal. You know, when you're driving in to a property that's off the main road, you want that entrance to, to look fabulous. You don't want to be like, well, I'm, I'm waiting to get to my property when it gets good. You know, you want to <laughs> drive in and be like, ah, we're almost there. Show off yeah. to all your friends. Exactly. It's like, come on out to nowhere. Yeah. yeah, come out here, man. You stressed out? Come on out. When I was growing up, we lived in a, you know, in a not in a town, not in town, but we still lived a lot more densely populated. Right. And I just couldn't wait to get a big piece of land that I could have a house way in the back. Privacy. I love people. Yeah. I, I like to socialize. Yeah. But I like it way on back. And people, when people walk in, they go, yeah. Yeah. Now you got it. Yep. We're, we're, we're was, a little farther than 60 feet off the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was three years old, my dad bought me some farm animals. And I was just like, that's it. That's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm telling you, three years old, really and truly. What did you get? So, what, what, did he, what, did you, what did he get he you? He got me some cows and some pigs, I think. And, and I was just like, oh, yeah, yeah. Or that's, that's what I need to do. Get out there and be around farms and country and all that kind of thing. The chickens are easy to take care of. The yeah. the the beef was easy to take care of. The geese were no problem, and we had guinea hens, guinea fowl. Yeah. And uh, they're they're zero maintenance, but right. you don't get any eggs. You just get a lot of chatter. <laughs> yeah, but they'll eat the bugs off your vegetables. Yep. Do a great job doing that. So. Yep. Yeah, that's one good thing they're good for. Got I'm some, impressed with this place. Got some poplar trees here. You see the yeah. flowers are coming right up. Yeah, for sure. It, it is the state tree, so I guess we, you know, it's nice to see them. Yeah, glad you're catching it. Yeah. The state tree and all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, I should know what it is. Here's a couple white oaks. They'll go into, a, they'll be made into a bourbon barrel one day when they grow up. Yeah. And we got a lot of, a lot of pines, a lot of white pines. That's, that's what this is here. There's nothing prettier. Then, uh, then these pine cones still stuck. I love this. If I could have a railing all around my house and just put this in between, it would just be the prettiest. A lot of timber on the property. How much timber do you think? Like when to cut? Uh, you could cut it right now. Really? Yep. What do you think's up there? Just like a wild Best. guess. Value wise? Yeah. I'd say minimum three hundred thousand. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's that's four hundred plus acres. Yeah. So, and uh, timber roads are not re hard to reestablish. It's all there. Infrastructure's there. Um, now everybody bitches and moans about the price because prices change. Sometimes they go down. Sometimes they go up. Sometimes they sell, and sometimes they go up the next time. But just in a ballpark, just give me a ball. Give everybody a ballpark. What? What do you think this farm's going to sell for? Right now, I'm thinking 1,700 an acre, so... Something like that. Okay. That's just the ballpark. Six, six 700,000. Yeah. That's just a guess. Yeah. Well, I'll put your phone number right there, and then you, they can call you, and you yeah. can deal with it. Right. Might be just what somebody's looking for for some privacy. And of course, you got to get one of these. Awful handy. Anything else you want to say about this well there's some limestone features up on the hills i went to one of the ridge tops they're pretty tall and i wanted to see how the trees were doing up at the very top since the property had been surface mined and i wasn't sure exactly where that had occurred trees are growing great on the ridge tops which means all that soil's there and it's going to grow timber for you i could only see two places where i could tell there had been some disturbance to the topsoil. I mean, they were minuscule. They were small. One was about maybe 10 yards long, and the other one was about the same. Uh, one of them was just a limestone piece, a big piece of limestone that you could tell had been cut. You know, it just doesn't look like land 
that's been surface surface mined. I mean, I, I got no idea where it was done, to be honest. But they came in, got out. How long ago was that? Now, that, that was quite a ways back. I'd say that was 40 years ago at least. So it's been a while. But the most important thing is that they put the land back right. And then, you know, Kentucky will do the rest. 48 inches of rain and, and boom, 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 and you got yeah. your land back. That's but right. you just gotta, you gotta help it along with, you know, that reclamation process. To think that they were doing that good of a job back then is uh, actually surprising. Yeah, for sure. So, well, there's a lot of lo lot of good stuff going on with this. Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, it, it is just, uh, it's an absolute paradise back there. It's nice. A private paradise. Private paradise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quiet. I mean. Super quiet. I was standing back there waiting for the bus to show up. It just didn't come. Well, probably just like your first date. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect any less? No. <laughs> no not really, huh? <laughs> oh. Pretty cool. Well, what happened there? Well, my motor's overheated. Okay, there we go. We're still we're still recording. <laughs> yeah, a little water. I can't wait to see your comments below. Like and subscribe because we've got a number of properties coming on the market that you're going to want to see. Don't forget to go to our website, bluegrassteam.com slash blog for the latest properties we have.